highly favored one thank you for joining me on healing streams reflection the title for today's post is learn to recall the good things god has done the psalmist in psalm number 143 verse 5 declare i remember the days of old I ponder all your great works. I think about what you have done. In a sense, when we learn to recall the good things God has done, it helps us to stay in an attitude of faith and to remain grateful. Friends, it's hard to go around complaining when you are constantly thinking about how good God has been to you. It's hard to get negative and to veer off into unbelief when you are always talking about God's blessings and favor in your life. I used to think, well, if God will do something extraordinary like bring me a good Samaritan to meet a pressing need in my life, then I will have something good to recall as well. Those days are seasons in the low times of my life in which it became easy to give into the worry, fear, despair or depression that threatens to overwhelm me. But when I surrendered my worry, fear, despair, or depression to God and rest in the arms of His love, the Holy Spirit reminded me of God's faithfulness and find strength to get through the law and know that there are wonderful things ahead of me to look forward to. And the fact that God has done something for every one of us, we merely need to go back and remember where we came from, the difficult environment we were nurtured from, and the difficulty you and I face, and think about how God was with you during that time and remember that he is with you now. Else, if you think or speak negatively, you'll be depressed and defeated. Beloved, know that you are a victor and not a victim. And thank God for what he has done. Remember where he took you, how he set you free, and thus far he has brought you. Remembering where you came from is one of the best ways to keep yourself encouraged. Sometimes we take these things for granted. Some people don't even realize that it was God at work in their life. Friends, too often we forgot and forget God is the giver of all good things. During this year in question, God is the one who caused us Get that unexpected miracle. The one who calls us to be at the right place at the right time. It is easy to praise him when you and I can see his mighty works active in our lives. But when we are facing difficulty or trouble, 
it becomes easier to grumble, complain, than to praise our love and Father. It's a good time to get alone with God and praise Him for what He has done for you in the past and acknowledge that even if you can see it, you know He's at work in the present too. Beloved, start a list of God's mighty works in your life. So when you feel you have nothing to praise Him for, you can come back to your list and praise Him for what He's done for you before. The sun writer invites us and even challenges us to count our blessings and name them one by one. But the question is, can you count them and name them one after the other? For me in person, I find it difficult because there are so many unseen battles that God has fought for me and fought on my behalf, unknown even to me, in the realm of the Spirit. Therefore, how do I count them, let alone name them? As for you, go through life. Keep adding to your list. Remembering what God has done for you in the past is an opportunity to offer him praise and give him all the glory that is due unto his precious and awesome name. Remember, he's a loving father. He's a gracious father. He's a merciful father. He has been good to you. May all that God has done for you from the beginnings of this year help you to trust that God will meet you in your present circumstances also. Remember, if he was faithful then, he, God, will be faithful again. Yes, he cares. Despite the challenges you are going through, His faithfulness is always there to see you through. My brother, my sister, let's celebrate the goodness of God even in times like this. Because He loves you and He loves me as well. He's a loving Father. He loves all of us. He loves his creation. May God's goodness and mercies follow you all the days of your life. Thank you for listening. And may God richly bless you. Have a wonderful time and a wonderful celebration. 
in this season of Christmas. Bye for now.